Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And as I promised that after doing the advanced next year's course, I will continue the I will continue continue Uber Eats clone and we'll take it to the finish point because I have plans for other playlists and I wanted to finish it. Okay. So what we have built, my focus area in uh, next five videos will be working on this uh, next GS dashboard app because in this Uber Eats clone, we have lots of components, right? So this is like a restaurant dashboard app, which is talking to our Nest GS APIs. And we have this next auth, which is sitting between your next CS and next CS APIs. This is our next auth. Okay, so it's pretty much straightforward. We are coming here and then there is a Prisma. Prisma is in some of the microservices which we have in the next CS. I mean, we are not persisting the data in the next GS app, there is already a Nest GS app. Always, first of all, don't confuse with the NEST or NEXT. NEXT is SSR. NEST is a Node.js framework for building API backend. So here we are using Type ORM, Prisma, all these ORMs to persist the data. So it's already have a database, and uh, there we are storing data. So once user logs in. For the once user logs in, what it is doing is uh, it is using a user class. Right? And uh, once you are logged in, it will it will create a session between next auth and your service. That means now what we will do is all the requests will come from the next JS APIs. We are not going to directly talk to our restaurant service here. So there is a restaurant service. Right, it's not like, okay, you got the token and start talking something like this. No, what will happen is every request will go to the API routes of a next JS. There we have API routes and then that API routes will check. Okay, the session exists using next auth. If session exists, then from the next GS server side, you are going to make a HTTP call to the respective API endpoint. Okay, it is just to make it safe that even if you have a session at the front end, I don't want to make a directly call to the restaurant service because uh, this next G, next auth and next GS will manage the session using cookies and cookies contains the session ID or access token or authorization token. I don't want you to directly bypass the next JS API routes. You will create a same next JS API routes like for the restaurant, restaurant by ID, like this whole setup is to onboard a new restaurant, right? And here you are going to do lots of different things. First of all, let's say you are logged in and you are a restaurant admin. So you can access this restaurant service, which is a Nest GS service. There you will create API endpoint restaurant post. You will create a restaurant. And apart from that, because when you are creating a restaurant, we need lots of other things also. Because now I'm going to build another two services, which is which will be file manager service, because we are going to upload the files, the, the logos and the different uh, images about the restaurant. So this there is a file manager service file manager service and then there is a notification service to let you know about all the notification so these two these two services we are going to build as a independent services that we can take care and then what will happen is, let's say I'm a logged in user, my session exists, then what you can do is you can upload a file. And once the once you onboard at a restaurant, then we can send a simple notification, okay, the restaurant has been created, and these are the menu items which you can add. Similarly, this notification manager service can be a common service, can be used everywhere. Once the user is onboarded, 
once the user is created or order is placed all the things can be handled all kind of notifications can be handled by the notification manager service it can use either send grid uh, twilio or something to send a notifications to the user and all these communication will happen asynchronously now you might be thinking we have independent all the services there are different ways to do it for now we can just make a simple call to this endpoint of notification manager service to send a notification simple http invocation but it can happen through the sns sqs all lot of event driven approach we will talk about later but this is the, the content which we are going to have in couple of uh, next videos we already have uh, the restaurant da dashboard right this dashboard is already there we need to create a couple of uh, e page routes so that we can show okay this is the form to create a restaurant this is the form to add a new menu item this is the form to upload a logos upload the thumbnails for the restaurant uh, food menu items descriptions pricing type so that form data we are going to submit to the next js api routes that will call the restaurant service to persist the data so when you want to fetch the list of restaurant list of food menu items and list of restaurants which a user has created i mean ideally you will be having only one restaurant and you will be creating a food menu items but let's say you are a franchise and you have multiple restaurants uh, created for this service like b2b in that case uh, you can also visualize it so we need to modify the dashboard create the forms create the api routes that api routes will call the restaurant service that is already there it's working it needs authorization header that authorization header you will send from the next gc api routes because here we already have a next auth session already exists okay that contains the token also and the same token the restaurant service will accept so you can create a restaurant you can this is like a gateway uh, we are doing all the requests will be handled by the next gc api routes and you will talk to the rest different services and further maybe the restaurant service has something to do then you can actually use a file manager service but file manager i think we need to expose directly here because what you will be doing you will be uploading a files so you can upload a file get the url and the same public url we can use for storing the thumbnails about the food menu items and then notification service can be called by the restaurant service to send the notifications right once the, the restaurant is created we can send an email to the owner that restaurant has been successfully created and some kind of a notification so this is something which we are building in the last videos i already covered the order service till order service we are done so now we are going to finish from one end and we'll start to the another end in other end we need to fetch the restaurant and then the food menu items we need to display them on the the dashboard like the end user dashboard where you can actually add the items to the cart and buy it so we still need the order service and all the other services needs to be there lots of services i already built so i also need to check what has been built after finishing this thing okay because this is totally independent it has nothing to do with all the other services the objective of this to onboard a restaurant onboard a food menu items for the restaurant okay so let's get started